What's up everybody, it's the Inhuman One here and today I'm going to show you how to become the Son of Sparta. That's right, today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to get all of the unique event gear for Dante, including the 5 piece armor set and his unique Devil Charge Blade in Monster Hunter World. As with all unique event gear, you'll need to head to the quest board to begin a specific event. This time around, you'll need to select the Code Red quest. You'll need to be at Hunter Rank 14 to activate this event. Now this event will have you face off against four monsters including an Anjanath, an Odogoron, a Rathlos, and a Teostra. Don't worry, you only have to face one at a time, but this is by no means a simple task. Fortunately, they all have varying degrees of weakness to ice, so be sure to use a critical element build with an ice element to make short work of these monsters. Upon completion of this event, which averaged me about 15 to 17 minutes per run, you'll be rewarded with a number of red orbs. Now I found these orbs incredibly rare and I only ever got more than one once. Now you'll need a total of 7 orbs to craft not only the 5 pieces of armor, but the unique charge blade as well. Keep in mind that the crafting materials are a bit more rare than in past events. Once you have sufficient materials, head to this midi and select Forge Armor. Scroll down to the Dante Alpha set and craft your gear. Now just check out the stats on these. Now these pieces are going to be really great for some nice mixed sets, and I know I'll be using the hair and pants in my next build, that's for sure. Now once you're done crafting the armor pieces, head to the Forge Weapons and select the Charge Blade. Scroll all the way down and you'll notice Dante's Devil Blade. This item requires two red orbs and gems from various monsters, a steep cost, but well worth the effort in my opinion. And voila, that's all you need to know in order to craft Dante's unique armor. Now I hope you all enjoyed this video, Now, if you did, be sure to leave a like, it helps the channel out immensely. But before I let you go, I did want to let you know that this event's difficulty level was just right in my opinion. I love the challenge and the music that was played during the arena match with some of the most challenging and aggressive monsters to slay. As a longtime Devil May Cry fan, I absolutely love the addition and I can't wait to craft those damn pants. Now let me know if you guys have played any Devil May Cry games and which one was your favorite. Now be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.